All right, in this video, I'll be showing you how to draw an oblique plan, including an exploded version of this drawing. The best way to understand this is our oblique plan will look 3D like this at a 45 degree angle. Now we can be using the top view and the side views to help us draw these. An exploded drawing simply means you have the pieces exploded away from the main center like this. The way we're gonna actually do it is copy these objects, not just move them. So we're gonna be copying each object as an exploded version of itself. So our exploded drawing will look something similar to this showing the separate pieces exploded from the main piece still intact. Okay, but we're gonna do this in drawing format. This is just a rendering to represent that. Now I've created an 11 step process to guide us through the way in which we make this. The first thing you wanna do is start with the top view and the side view, ideally having the side view that has a slope just in case we need some measurements off that slope. From here, we're gonna go ahead and explode our drawing. You can see we have the top view that's exploding the separate pieces off of it, off of the center. The center remains intact all you're doing is adding additional versions of the pieces in the center as separate entities on the sides okay so that should be pretty simple you're copying and pasting these uh simple enough and then changing the line weights I'll show you an example of that just go ahead and copy this and move it down would be a version of this and then changing that to let's say alignment obviously you kind of replace this in my case but that's the way you would do it pretty simple additionally you want to position the side view somewhere in the upper right hand corner because we're going to be projecting lines to this drawing and we want the drawing and we want the new drawing to be somewhere in the middle here so i'll explain that in a little bit step three is to rotate the exploded top view by 45 degrees and rhino you're probably gonna have to rotate this with uh using negative 45 so i'll show you an example here if i grab this and i just go rotate i'm going to select the lower right hand corner right here and you can see you could start rotating i'm going to go uh, draw a parallel line or select a parallel point and then it, all you want to do is type negative 45 and you should be good to go you can see it rotated it to 45 degrees okay so it should look something like this and then again you don't have to do anything with the top view right now we're going to go ahead and project the line to step four so step four simply we're going to draw a line straight up and we're going to be using this later but we want to draw it from this bottom corner of the main four inch by four inch square. What we wanna do is project these 45 degree lines that are perpendicular to the faces of our boxes here that then go ahead and meet this side view. So this side view might be, let's say somewhere over here, right? And we project these lines. All you wanna do is align this bottom corner, which you know aligns to this thing, but you wanna align it up here. Should be simple enough. Uh, and that's step four. Now, step five, we're creating our first lines in our 3D drawing. And you, you see the base that I'm selecting here? That's basically a copy of this outer parameter. So what you wanna do is just copy that upwards to this vertical point. And this vertical point that we drew before, now you wanna align it to the bottom of this drawing. Because you can see I drew this line and that line, which represents the bottom and top points of this four inch cube. You can see right here where my mouse cursor is. That's the bottom right here and that's the top. And you're just projecting lines. These lines determine this vertical point. We're gonna be doing this throughout the drawing. We're just kind of measuring points I and mean, you'll simply just kind of project lines to get those measurements, but that creates the first point. The next step you wanna do is draw the rest of the four inch cube, simply just to get the boundary box, okay? So that's simple enough. What you wanna do is go ahead and copy this vertical line across the four sides, the, the remaining three, I should say, and then what we're gonna do is copy the base to the top. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that from the start. You have a vertical point right here and you can go straight up, doesn't matter where. And you wanna intersect the bottom of the side view over here like that, okay? And I'm just gonna trim this and I'm gonna move these to construction line. And this is the bottom point that I'm going to copy my uh, profile of my four inch box to. I'm gonna move that up here, just like that. Okay, and then the next thing I wanna do is extract the height from the side view, which I'm just gonna draw a line like this, doesn't really matter. All I'm doing is getting the measurement, okay? So that right there works, or I could just measure it from here, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna move this to a medium line weight. And what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you wanna copy this bottom profile to the top of that line, which is the height. And you can start to see the box filling in. And what you need to do now is just go ahead and copy edges over, okay? And do be mindful that this thing in the back, you, you're not gonna be able to see. So you're gonna have to change that to a hidden line weight, right? Um, and then these things over here uh, intersect. So you'd also need to clean this up, but that's a later step. Now in three dimensions, you wanna show the hidden lines here. Uh, in this case, I've drawn the three hidden lines that you wouldn't see if this was a solid cube. 
but uh, this will be a different step once we add the thickness. Now step seven is where we add the material thicknesses to our object over here. Our box is one open faced at the, this front side and the, the bottom surface. Okay, and each side has a thickness. So you could see the seam lines showing the kind of more realistic version of what this box would look like. And the hidden lines here help us understand three dimensionality of this box, okay? Uh, so you wanna do that in step seven. Step eight, you wanna simply add the remaining boxes. And this is relatively simple. You just do the same exact thing you did for the big box, but you're doing it for the small boxes. The easiest way to understand that is if we go down to this top view, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab Let's say I'll grab this box right here. I'll copy it to this bottom corner. This bottom corner is gonna be our main point and I'll just copy it right here. And so uh, I don't know what the line widths are gonna be. I'm just gonna change it to light right now. I'll go ahead and grab this, copy it from this point. Copy it to the top surface and then this one. That sets up everything and all you'd need to do at this point is start getting some measurements, for example, this measurement here represents the height for this box. So I'm just gonna draw a line like that. Okay, move this to extra lightweight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna just copy this. And then the height for this is simple as well. This is how we're gonna determine our slope. It's this line right here. And then we will go ahead and copy it as well. Okay, and then from here is where you create your slope. Just connecting the dots is pretty simple. And then obviously you want to fill in the kind of in between themes over here. All you have to do now is extract the heights from the other boxes and fill in for the plans. Step nine is you're just going ahead and cleaning up all the line work. What you first want to do is just lay out the, the boundaries and then you want to come in, draw the correct hidden lines, draw the correct line weight so it reads properly on a sheet. Now step 10, you want to project and draw in the exploded boxes from the top view into the 3D views as shown here. All you want to do is copy these boxes down here to the top view. You just want to make sure you have enough space in your drawing so that things don't intersect. I've properly dimensioned my exploded boxes. So when I explode them in 3D view, I don't have any intersections. Now step 11, all you have to do is complete the 3D views of exploded boxes by using heights from side views or copying from the center object and then adjusting the line weights and hidden lines per box. So you can go ahead and project the lines. The simplest thing to do, I'll just show you right here, is I can grab this line right here and then I'll simply just copy this. And it looks like I'm missing a few lines. Just fill in the gaps. From here, you just clean up, okay? So I know these are solid lines. That pretty much covers the cleanup and you just wanna go ahead and copy this over once it's cleaned up and then paste it to its bottom boundary. That should be good to go. And all you have to do is same thing for the rest of the exploded pieces kind of just filling it in. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the final step. Now I do have a video that follows up on this tutorial that shows you how to take this drawing into Illustrator and add line weights that way. So be sure to watch that video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below.